In this video, we'll be overviewing the BCA assay, which is a technique that lets you know how much protein is in your sample. And other techniques that utilize a 96 well plate and a plate reader may be performed in a similar manner to this, even if they aren't a BCA assay themselves. So the way that this works is that on one side of this, there has been a standard curve pipette. So this is a protein of known concentration on this side. And these are each different dilutions of that known protein. While on the other side is our unknown sample that we want to know the concentration of the protein. So the reason some of these are purple is because when you add it initially, it turns it's green. But when you add something called a working reagent, um, which is what makes the BCA assay work, it stains the solution purple, and the more protein there is, the more purple it turns the solution. So you can see here, this is the most concentrated of the standard curve right here, because it's the most purple. And each of these dilutions that have been prepared um, to create this curve, which will be used in calculating the concentration of our unknown sample are progressively more dilute. Um, so th these are all done in triplicate. Why do you do them in triplicate? It improves the reliability of your results when you have three of each measurement. Um, so that's why this looks like a lot, but really the reason it looks like a lot is going on is because everything is in triplicate. So I'll circle some examples of triplicates um, for you. So these are all the standard curve triplicates. And then on the other side, we have um, the triplicates of our sample. And then once um, this is put in the plate reader after um, it has been made, then it will measure the absorbance and that can be used um, to calculate um, how concentrated the protein is. And when making these dilutions, you'll just use the same formula as always, which is concentration one, volume one, equals concentration two, volume two. Um, you'll fill in the known three, um, your initial concentration, um, then the final concentration you want and the final volume you want to calculate the initial volume that you will use um, in the dilution and you'll add um, water um, or whatever the solvent is to bring it up to that final volume. And with a BCA assay, you'll usually want 100 uh, microliters of each sample at least so that you have enough to perform um, three um, replicates here from the same tube of solution.